All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to just set up the basics of the project, get a ball bouncing around, create our paddles. So this is a blank project. The cloud here is filled in because I'm logged in already. So I can, you know, just again, reset it. So go new project. Now I want three sprites here. So I'm going to hit the paintbrush because I'm going to draw them myself. So I'm going to make a little black ball. Now, if I just go any direction, I can make a lopsided ball. But if I hold the shift key, it stays circular. So I'm going to make a pretty small one, maybe like about that size. I'll double check the center and click OK. So there's my ball. I'm going to go up here and rename the sprite to ball. OK, then I'm going to draw a paddle. Now my paddle, um, I'm going to make like, I don't know, that big, let's say, maybe a little smaller like that. OK, um, I'm not only shift key because I don't want it to be rectangular. I'm going to pick my center. It automatically does a pretty good job there. I'm going to put this paddle over here. I'm going to name this uh, comp paddle. OK, oh, shoot, if it's a comp paddle, I'll put it on the left. And then I'm going to right click on this sprite and duplicate it. So I have the exact same picture. Um, I could have also just gone to the comp paddle costume and dragged it. That's another way to copy it. All right, so I'm going to go over here and this one I'm going to rename to player paddle. All right, and then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to delete this extra sprite here. OK, so I've got these three. Now, for the ball, I just wanted to start by moving around just so I can test out the paddles. Not that the paddles will collide or anything, but just so they can everything can start moving around. OK, so for the ball, I'm going to go to scripts. And I'm going to start with the green, when green flag clicked, we're going to start this game uh, right at the center. I, I mean, right at the beginning, I want to go to the center. OK, because that way, no matter where the ball is, when I start the game, it goes right back to the center. And then just to begin, I'm just going to do a forever loop. OK, and forever, I'm going to start moving. OK, so now whatever direction it's in, it's going to start moving. So I should pick a direction. So at the beginning, and I will adjust this later, I'm just going to say point in a random direction. Now, this isn't the best because, and I'm going to slow this down maybe a little bit. I'll just pick some random number. Oh, and one last thing. I'm going to throw in an if on edge bounce, just so it bounces around the screen. So all it's doing forever is moving and bouncing around the screen. Only once at the beginning does it pick a random direction. So notice that a lot of times it works out. However, sometimes you'll get something like that. Well, that was perfect as I was talking. So now that's not a direction we want. So later on, we'll change this point in direction random to something better like uh, maybe, uh, let's just do it now. Let's do a random number between. We can look at this menu. So up is zero, right is 90, and down is 180. So if it's zero, 90, 180, we just want something like Maybe I'm going to pick something like right here. So 45 right in between. That'll be the upper limit. And then I'll go down to here. So it's going to start towards me somewhere between 45 and 135. So I'm going to put that in here. So pick a random direction between those two. And now every time I start, it's coming towards me, but in some random direction, which sometimes is up a little, sometimes down a little. But generally, it's pointing towards me. And then it just bounces around. OK, first ball script done. Add in some comments just to start. So um, start the ball um, pointing in a somewhat random direction, but always towards the player paddle. OK, and then we can expand that a little bit. All right. So the ball is done. It's moving around. OK, we'll come back and we'll have to change a few things. But I'm going to go to the player paddle now. OK, so all I'm going to do is say when I start the game, let's just forever go to. Now we got two options. One is we could say a starting position. So maybe something like 210. Zero. So when I start, boom, there we go. It's on the right. Now we got a couple options. I like when I'm only changing the Y position. So my paddle's only going up and down. I like just setting the Y. Um, some people will uh, just put this in there. And then we'll say forever go to 210 um, mouse Y. And so there we go. This is following the mouse. 
and it's always going to. So it is setting that X value every time. For me, I actually like instead just doing once go to the center at the start and then the rest of the game just change the Y. So I like doing that. Now, to start, we're going to use this if on edge um, bounce block. However, part of the rubric is that you code this yourself so you don't have an uh, if on edge bounce. So see, I did that so my paddle will follow the mouse, but it won't go out of the screen. That way, if you go all the way to the bottom, you can just slam it down and be like, oh, I caught that one. There was no gap. And then, oh, no, it's at the top. I can boom, catch that one. And it doesn't follow the mouse out of the screen. So now let's just take this same code. Oh, and we can even add a comment here. We'll say uh, forever follow the mouse Y position, uh, but don't go out of the screen. Okay, there we go. All right, and then we're going to go over to the computer paddle and do something similar. Okay, so for the computer paddle, we want it to go to a negative x value and then for the y we want to set the y to the balls y position hmm now you could use down here this costume number of and so this is you pick a, a sprite or an object and then you pick an attribute about it and so we could say the y position of the ball now other languages don't necessarily have a pre-made thing for this so you have to design all this yourself so instead, what we're going to do is use a variable, just like a warm up we did in class. So we're going to make a variable called ball y position. And I'm just going to say forever go to ball y position. But if you're on the edge, then bounce so you don't go out of the screen. And now all we need to do is set that variable because right now the ball's y position is just zero because we've never set it. So I'm going to go over to the ball and all I'm going to do here is say, let's just set the ball's y position to whatever my current y position because we're on the ball the ball knows its own position we go to motion and right down here it knows its own x its own y and its own direction see ball x ball y ball direction and so all we're going to do is say i just want this ball y position let's drag it in there and now when i start the program the ball is going to forever update that variable saying i'm at 100 i'm at 101 i'm at 105 i'm at 110 saying its y position and the computer paddle is simply saying where are you at i'm gonna go there where are you at i'm gonna go there so it's listening to that variable it's reading information from that variable and then the paddle is going there okay so now i start the program i can control one paddle and the computer paddle just follows the ball and is ready to catch it every single time all right so that's it for the first video, just setting up the basic uh, ball and script. So a couple things is notice that I have clear names for my variables. I'm going to go ahead and add some comments after the video ends, and I'm going to make sure to save my untitled project. So I'm going to go to save as, and I'm going to go, I'm going to call this Pong videos, and I'm going to call this 01, or let's say Pong video 01. And that way I'll have a link to this project in the description. All right, you guys are also basic setup with balls and paddles. All right, hope you enjoyed the video.